and welcome back to the channel and today I'm not exactly going to be doing a theory but it's kind of a discussion on two different points about Salem. So first off I have a bit of a question about Salem's regeneration. So in the previous episode in volume 8 episode 9 we saw Salem regenerate. What if you like say she chopped off her arm okay so now you have two different body parts of Salem right? So what would happen? Because if both the body parts regenerated then you'd get two Salems. And I know many people will say, oh no, but the arm wouldn't regenerate. It would just kind of die and she would grow a new arm. But what would happen if we split her in half? Which body part would regenerate? What if they both did? What if we got two Salems? Would, would, would her magic be split? Or would it be the same amount of magic she had before, but kind of doubled? So she has the original magic she had, and then the second body has the same amount of magic. Cause like, I mean, that would be pretty like all powerful, you know? Maybe the two halves of the body would be attracted back to one another. So if they split Salem in half she wouldn't be able to fight anymore like if they chopped her in half and then pulled her apart would the bodies like attract back to each other would they regenerate so what do you guys think comment down below with your ideas about this I, I want to see where this thing goes the Salem witch trials were a horrific set of events that took place in Salem Massachusetts a few hundred years ago and it, it was basically a group of girls who managed to gain a following accusing people of witchcraft it got massive and there was mass hysteria and the girls could sort of faint at will and say it was these people's evil spirits choking them and they got huge courts from Boston involved and a big theme is the division that was caused by the Salem witch trials and I think we can see many parallels between the story of Salem Salem and the Salem Witch Trials and Ruby. Too many for it to be a coincidence. For example, Abigail, who was kind of the leader of this group of girls, who my mind represents Salem, was in love with John Proctor, who I think represents Ozpin. So right out of the gate, that's their relationship. And Ozpin and Proctor, both of them fight for what they believe in. They fight against oppression and tyranny. I think also John Proctor, if we cut out the Abigail loving John Proctor bit, we could also say that John Proctor is potentially representative of Ruby as well, standing up for what she believes in. John Proctor was one man against all these courts. There's a similarity with Ruby standing against Salem's massively powerful forces. Another parallel is the judges of these witchcraft court cases. In the beginning, they believed them like everybody else, but by by the end of the witch trials, these judges, they did kind of know that these people weren't witches. The evidence was more and more floppy, it almost came to the point where it was unbelievable, but these judges carried on prosecuting and, and sentencing these people to death because they couldn't go back on what they had said. They darted down a path and then not been able to turn back, which I think is very similar to our General Ironwood, who has gone quite far down a path now and isn't turning back. There's just another parallel there that I I think is quite interesting. Another parallel on the side of Salem is that of Reverend Hale. Reverend Hale is brought in very near the beginning and he originally starts by wanting to find the witches. He's just generally quite involved in hunting, in witch hunting. And I feel like that's a little bit like Hazel who in volume five, obviously he was hunting the huntsman and finding the huntsman and killing the huntsman. But now at the end of the crucible, Reverend Hale turns back to help the accused witches and I think that's very similar to how Hazel's turned and is helping Ruby's cohort. Let's just say that the story of Salem Witch Trials contain parallels with Ruby and that's intentional. Then there are a couple of possibilities that might arise. For example, Mary. Now, Mary originally was one of the girls in Abigail's crew who kind of turned sides briefly and then betrayed John Proctor, the main character, back for Abigail because Abigail pretty much blackmailed her into rejoining. And if we think about this, there has been some changing of sides in Emerald who could be representative of Mary because if Emerald changes sides to Ruby's side and then sees Cinder, she may decide to turn back. Emerald isn't the strongest of people in terms of her conviction of the side that she's on. I feel like she might be one who can change her coat very easily. It's now beneficial for her to be with Ruby, but when she meets back up with Cinder, there's a lot of things that could happen that I think might turn Emerald back to Salem's side. So that's that's one thing that may, may happen within the Ruby. 
The other is scary because I really, really don't want this to happen. Another fairly main character was Giles, Giles Corey, who was a farmer and whose wife and later himself were both accused of witchcraft. Giles is a very strong character, he won't admit, and that turns to torture. Trying to make him confess, and they're trying to make him give up other information about other witches. And Giles dies during the torture, uh, his last words being more weight. Who do we know who is a good friend of Ozpin and Ruby? Because if John Proctor represents Ozpin and Ruby, Giles was John Proctor's friend. A loyal friend who has recently been arrested, Giles was arrested, and who is based off a scarecrow when Giles was a farmer. Oh dear crow. <laughs> this could be potentially very bad for crow. Then again, Giles' death is revealed fairly near the end of the play. We could have some more time with crow. Then again, I could be wrong. So please don't forget to leave your comments down below. Let's please hope that I'm wrong. Um, that's the first time I've really said that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.